Hello, this is Nick Bryan coming from the Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics at Stanford University. Today I'd like to show you a new method of digital scratching that doesn't involve customized hardware or time-coded vinyl. So what we have here is two standard turntables and a laptop in between. On top of each turntable there's a plexiglass disc and an iPod touch with some sticky rubber in between to keep the iPod from sliding around. There's some customized software on each, each iPod that's going to broadcast the gyroscope and accelerometer data to, to the laptop and be able to use that data to scratch the audio on top. So with that, I'll just start up the application. I have the go to the laptop and connect which, which device I want to correspond to the, to the left side here. And with that, I can instantly start controlling the audio signal by just physically moving the turntable. And this is really nice because we can, we can still use the same physical controls on the device. So I can start it, stop it, I can even speed it up. I can use, it, use the finer tune controls on the side here. And I can even put it in reverse. So as we zoom in on the display of, of the device, we see that it's displaying the audio that we're, that we're actually listening to. So here we, we can find a, a kick drum sound or a, a drum hit, and we can use that to figure out where we actually want to scratch in addition to listening. So we can, that's a good, good, good place to scratch. We can find another one here. How about right there? All right, so we can get this one started up. We can start a second one here and scratch on top of it. So I'll just start start the app there. Connect up which device I want it to correspond to. Make the crossfader. So we're gonna hear both of them. Find a good place to scratch. Awesome. So it's a quick introduction to using the accelerometer and gyroscope and a wireless broadcasting to a host laptop for a new method of digital scratching.